Good day viewers, you are welcome. Here we have an interesting exponential equations. 3 power x plus 4 power of x equals 5 power of x. And this is beyond algebra. So we are interested to find x. So let's get started. If we consider the solution. So here, if we start the guess, suppose I let x equals 0. So here we have 1 plus 1 equals 1. So we know 2 here is not equals 1. That is, x can never be 0 here. And if we test for when x equals 1, we are going to have 7 is not equals 5. And again, if we test for when x equals 2, we have 3 power of 2, that is 9 plus 4 power of 2, we have 16, equals 5 power of 2 is 25. And from here, we have 25 equals 25. So it seems 2 is the solution to this problem. And if you start checking for any number greater than 2, so we start having an unequal equations. That is, x equals to 2 is the only answer to this. And this seems like a Pythagoras triple identity, which has just only one solution as 2. But how can we prove this that the only solution is 2? So let's get into more details of this. First is, let's divide both sides by 5 to the power of x. So we have 3 power x over 5 power of x plus 4 power x divided by 5 power of x equals 1. So 1 here is a constant. And suppose I let the whole of this equation to be f of x. So this gives us... 3 divided by 5, then all raised to power x by rule of indices. Plus, also we have 4 divided by 5, all raised to power of x. And according to this, so this shows that the f of x here is equals 1. And considering these values first, if f of x equals 3 over 5 raised to power x, and f of x also equals 4 over 5 to the power of x. So since this is what we have, we are going to have here, for the first condition here, we have 0 less than 3 over 5, all raised to the power of x. So this is 0 less than 3 over 5, and this 3 over 5 less than 1. And again, we have 0 less than 4 over 5, and 4 over 5 also less than 1. So considering these two sides, so this shows that this is decreasing. So both 3 over 5 and 4 over 5, they both decreases. So and when both decreases, it tells us that f of x here is strictly decreasing. Though sometimes f of uh, x here can also be equals 1. So here is the first case. And let's try and verify why x equals to 2 is the only solution. So to verify that, we are going to have if x equals f x equals 2, then we have f of x equals. So we are still dealing with the first, which is 3 over 5 raised to the power x plus 4 over 5 raised to the power of x. So, if x here equals 2, we are going to have f of 2 equals, so this is 3 over 5 raised to power 2. So, that gives us 9 divided by 25 plus, also we have 4 over 5 raised to power 2, that gives us 16 over 25. And here, we have f of 2 equals 1. So if f of 2 equals to 1, then 
we consider another case what if x is less than 2 or x is greater than 2 so considering this suppose we have x here greater than 2 and again we have x uh, less than 2 to see if there is any other solution different from 2 let's start checking for when x is greater than 2 you know if x is greater than 2 from what we have above so we have to we are going to have 3 divided by 5 raised to power x any time x is greater than 2 all this value is always less than 9 divided by 25 because we already proved that f of 2 at 3 over 5 raised to power x it gives us 9 over 5 meaning that any other values greater than 2 is always is always less than 9 over 5 that is let's say we check this as 3 this is going to be 27 divided by 125 and which is always less than 9 divided by 25 and since we have this it shows that f of x also less than 1 and similarly if you check for 4 over 5 raised to power x at x greater than 2 so that's also less than uh it's also less than 16 divided by 25 and f of x is also less than 1. so which this is very very wrong because we have to consider the direction so direction determine what we are going to get here so we have taken the wrong direction by considering that x is greater than 2. so let's take the uh when x is less than 2 so if x is less than 2 we are going to have a particular value that will be very close to to there and let's check a, let's verify this in another way let's check this in a derivative forms and see what we are going to get what if i want to check the derivative proof of this if i let a to be equals 3 divided by 5 and i let b equals 4 divided by 5. We can choose any of this either. We can choose m, we can choose n. So here we have f of x equals a raised to power x plus b raised to power of x. And finally the derivative of this, we have f prime of x equals, when we differentiate a raised to power x, is small of logarithm. So we are going to have a raised to power x ln a plus b raised to power x ln b. Then, so from this a raised to power of x, it shows that this is 0 is less than a and this less than 1. And also for b, we have 0 less than b less than 1. So far, this a and b both less than 1. This shows that ln a also less than 1. And uh, it's less than 0. Then ln b also is less than 0. And next, so f prime of x also. So this less than 0 for all x so this shows that f is always decreasing so it's strictly decreasing so now if x is now greater than suppose our f x here is greater than 2 then we are going to have f of x is less than f of 2 so which everything equals 1 and again, if we have x less than 2, so we are going to have f of x here greater than f of 2, which also equals 1. So with this, what we have here, so this shows that we only want f of x to be equal to 1. And uh, this is strictly decreasing, which means 
only x equals 2 is the answer to this. So this is how I solve this problem. Thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next video. Never stop learning. Bye-bye.